It's been about a year since the Magnum F came out, so I wanted to do a new video of an auto to manual swap featuring the new Magnum F kit that I offer. Here on the table are all the parts required to do an auto to manual swap. And I have these all laid out and kind of categorized so I can kind of explain them to you. So in this first panel here is the GR700 kit that is specific to a Mark IV Supra. So you see the Magnum F transmission, which came out about a year ago, and that's why I wanna do this video. I wanna to explain to you the differences now with the GR700 Magnum F kit versus the older kit, which I did the video on before with the GR700 regular Magnum. So this kit has the Magnum F transmission. It has an index plate to make sure that the QuickTime bell is in spec and in line with the crank. The QuickTime bell has been modified and trimmed so that it fits perfectly in the Mark IV chassis. We have the aluminum drive shaft shop bell with the billet yoke. We have the Granis Racing uh, shifter here with the offset. And this shifter can be placed in um, six different positions, uh, bas basically every 45 degrees um, you can place this. And then um, the shifter handle itself, some Loctite for the bolts. Then we have the Chromoly uh, cross member and all the hardware and the Prothane mount to go with that. And then we have one of the new parts with the kit as well, and that is the Bluetooth harness. This Bluetooth harness has a little module here where you can adjust this, the factory Speedo. So this will make the factory Speedo work with the T56. And you can adjust that through a smartphone based on your rear gear ratio. So if you wanna change the rear gear, um, you can do that and make the Speedo all sync up. It also has built-in control for the reverse lockout. So under four mile an hour, it'll automatically unlock the reverse uh, solenoid so that you can go right into reverse. Then we have all the hardware for the kit, for the bell housing, transmission, basically all the hardware for the trans. So that's one of the things that I really uh, pride myself in here on these kits is I give you every single nut and bolt required to do the swap. You're not gonna have to run to the hardware store. You're not gonna have to call me back up and say, hey, I need this bolt or that bolt. Everything is gonna be included. So the next step here is the clutch. And this customer is getting a Tilton ST246 twin disc. And this clutch is really cool because it's sprung hubs on both discs. So this clutch will drive like stock, but it will have an 850 foot pound capacity. So this clutch is really awesome for the streetcar guys. We also have the ARP flywheel bolts that is specific to the Tilton clutch that I do. The clutch line kit, all the hardware for the clutch. Then you have the Tilton 6000 release bearing that is set up specific for this clutch as well. And then we have the uh, Tilton master kit that I make with the billet adapter. And this is set up specifically um, for this Tilton clutch as well with the proper size. And um, with this kit, you get the billet adapter, the master cylinder, the reservoir, uh, the Heim, and then uh, the, the hardware as well. So that's pretty much everything as far as the clutch goes. And then the last panel here is everything for the auto to manual swap. So this is a left-hand drive car. So we have the OEM left-hand drive clutch pedal assembly. We have the rubber pads for both um, of the pedals, the one bolt you need for the uh, crossbar under the dash. And then we have a brake pedal too. So yes, you need a brake pedal with this because the auto brake pedal is actually a really wide pedal and it'll interfere with your clutch. So you have to run the manual brake pedal along with that. Lastly, we have the interior panel with the shift boot. And then the other part we need is the tunnel cover. So this seals off the cabin from all the outside elements. You don't want any of the exhaust fumes coming up through there, any of the heat from the trans and engine coming up through there. So when you trim out the tunnel uh, in the auto car to fit the manual transmission, this will sit on top and seal off everything in the cabin from the outside elements. Then the last thing here is an optional accessory, but I recommend it for the Supra because it has an OEM style shift knob. So this looks just like the factory six speed and five speed knob for the Supra, but it has um, the proper pattern for the T56 
And then we also have the bushing to make it adapt to the shift, uh, the shift handle itself. And then we also have a boot cone. And what this boot cone does is it sits underneath this um, leather uh, boot and keeps it held up in place so that you don't lose um, the boot. So basically the boot won't be stuffed down here and you just have a handle sticking up through here randomly. It's gonna keep the boot up and in place and look uh, tidy like, a, um, like an OEM install. So that is basically everything you need here for an auto to manual swap. And there are some differences in the kits um, from car to car. So this is specific to a Mark IV Supra, but I have um, kits for the IS300, which will be a little bit different cross member. Um, the shifter might be a little bit different for that car. And, you know, for all the other chassis that I make these kits for, there might be subtle differences. But this gives you a general idea of what you're getting when you get a kit from me here at Granis Racing.